Ew. All right. Uh. Uh. All right, thank you again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. I've been getting a few comments and questions lately as to uh, whether or not I know any alternate methods of dispatching quail. So today we're gonna be making kill cones. I'm gonna be using aluminum flash metal. We're gonna make kill cones out of that. I'm gonna show you all of the materials that I use and I'm gonna show you all of the steps involved. Stay tuned. Also, make sure you leave a like for this video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell because I'm going to be coming back and doing a video where I use the cones to dispatch the quail. So you want to be, you know, around for that. So we're going to need a few things for this. Uh, I may or may not be using this particular piece of wood right here. Uh, I have a bunch of scrap wood downstairs from past projects. I have fence board that I haven't used and I may use this instead. but. I'm gonna make a couple of these cones and I'm gonna line them up along a piece of wood, but I'm just using this as a placeholder for now. Again, may or may not use this. Now, this is the aluminum flashing that I'm using. This is a uh, eight by 10, as you can see right here. Uh, it's gonna be 10 inches down and eight feet across. So we're gonna get a few cones out of this. All right, and then I have my template. And when this is, you know, rolled up correctly, you end up with a model of the final product, which is going to be our kill cone for the quail. Aside from that, I do have 10 snips. I have a right hand pair and a left hand pair or left hand pair and a right hand pair. I don't know which one is which right now because I'm not paying attention to them. Uh, aside from that, I do have a ruler because we're going to need a ruler and I need a marker. And I have some electrical tape to make it pretty and wrap it up and make it a little bit safer. And just in case we have to file any sharp edges away, I do have my file kit right here. All right, so I'm gonna try to use these 10 snips to open this. See how that goes. Well, that worked out pretty well. All right, note to self, be careful when unrolling flash metal. All right, so I took some tape and used that to hold down the template. And I'm gonna take our Sharpie and go right around the template. And of course, you know what we're gonna do with this. We're gonna use this as our cutting line. And we're going to use the 10 snips and make short work of this. As precisely as possible. Right, and there we have our first piece of flash. And keep in mind, these edges are a little bit jagged. So, you know, again, I suggest using gloves for this. Now, when we fold it and we roll it over, should be perfect, just like that piece of paper. But we're gonna have a little bit of work to do. Yeah, there we have it. 
almost done. So the shape is there. We have to get this thing secure. Okay, and I have this piece of tape that came from the flashing in the first place. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the shape that I'm looking for roughly as close as possible. And then I'm gonna secure the bottom part. with our tape. This is only temporary. So now that we have that on there, we want to find our real form and then secure it from there. And I'm gonna use electrical tape for this. All right, so we have it on. I'm gonna put another layer on. And again, this is professional grade. Uh, I'm gonna use it to secure the top up here. I'm gonna put another layer on the bottom all right, so we have the first layer of tape on here and we're gonna fix this up a little bit, but I wanna make sure that I get the tape around the top of the cone because this is where we're gonna want the cone to meet. Uh, you wanna make sure you have enough space in here for your quail. Again, not to move around, but to be able to slide all the way down and have its head coming out of the bottom here. So keep in mind it tapers when it goes around, so. It'll get there. All right. Now let's tighten it up. And I'm just going along the bottom. I'm going to snip right here. I want to get rid of any sharp edges that we have at the bottom so we don't hurt ourselves in the process. And with that, we're gonna go around the top with some tape too. Being careful not to cut ourselves. Which is the whole point, right? I'm making sure I have some overlap and I'm going right back around.
all right so again we're just going back around folding the edges down doesn't look like I'm gonna have to use my file at all go ahead get that last edge down all right and that's gonna be the first kill cone out of the series that I put up against either this piece of wood or, you know, I don't know, maybe one of these other pieces of wood that I have laying around. Now again, I'm taking this, rolling it up just a little bit, make it easier to work with. marker also be sure to leave a like for the video and subscribe to the channel I have a lot of cooking videos up I have a lot of instructional videos up. I have a lot of different types of videos up all to do with raising birds at home. Uh, so just like I did with this one, I'm going to roll these up and set them aside for a moment. Again, you look at it, it makes the perfect cone. I'm going to finish it off and it's going to be the perfect cone. See, there I go. I just jabbed myself right here. And that, folks, is exactly what I get. Doesn't look like it's going to bleed, though. No worries. This is going to fit almost perfectly in here. All right, so I did attempt to go with the staple gun option, but that didn't work out at all. So I'm going to go with the thicker piece of wood and get all four of these mounted on here, starting with this one. I'm going to put you towards the end, my friend. Get a pilot hole going. Get this thing on here. All right, there's our first cone. Let's get the rest done. And this is our smallest cone. I'm putting this one on the end. They're all on here now and adjustable because I didn't screw them in all the way. So, you know, you want to have them in there, but not all the way in there. Make sure they have a little give. All right, so if you check it out right here, we have an almost complete product. Uh, there's something missing. Hold on, I know exactly what that is. All right, folks, and as you can see right here, we have our finished product. I have four kill cones specifically designed for quails. So of course, I wanna make sure I do a video 
using these cones. That's going to be on another video. Make sure you like this one and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we do do that video. Thanks again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. If you have any questions or comments or want to share one of your own projects, please feel free to do so below. Also, leave a like for the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Hit the notification bell because like I mentioned before, we are coming back to do a video where we're going to be using these cones to actually dispatch a quail. Uh, I'd like to thank you again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. I look forward to seeing you again. Mm -hmm.